So this pot is 20 gallons with a 22 inch diameter. I'll be using about two cubic feet of coconut coir. So I've got about 1.7 in there right now. So we'll be adding or topping the rest with coconut coir when we plant the tomatoes. So the coconut coir does not contain any nutrients at all. It's just a potting medium. So we'll be adding at least 25 to 30% of worm castings in there. So we'll go ahead and pour about five pounds of worm castings. Get that all mixed in there. a little bit more. Besides the nutrients contained in the worm castings, we also want enough beneficial fungi and microbes in there, which will help break down the nutrients further, as well as the coconut coir. It'll help break down some of that as well. So I kind of have to make this quick, guys. My camera or my phone is about to die, running low on battery. So I've got my tomato plant here in a one gallon container. So I'm going to be pinching off the bottom leaves. There's a sucker below here, but I'm going to go ahead and just remove that. So when you plant your tomatoes, you can bury them deep. It'll actually grow roots along the stems, even along the, the suckers on the side of the plants, which will anchor your plants into the soil to keep it more stable. This tomato plant already has some baby fruit, so I gotta be very, very careful here. I don't want it to go to shock. You always want to loosen up the roots before you put it in the soil or in your pot. Just like that, guys. Place this into our planting hole. We'll just backfill it. I'm going to go ahead and add some more coconut coir. So about another six inches of coconut coir. And if you go to stick your plant, you want to add that right now. That way you don't damage the roots. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this bamboo in there about four inches away from the plant so I don't damage the roots. Got more coconut coir here. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Time to water our tomato plant. So I'm going to be adding some worm tea into my watering can. So about three ounces should be fine. So you can put about three to six ounces every time you water your plants. So adding the water will activate those microbes. When using the nutrient tea, make sure to use it within 24 hours after adding the water. So again, adding, adding the water will activate those microbes and fungi. I'm so excited for this experiment. So again, we're growing some tomato plants in a pot of coconut coir with worm castings only and some worm tea. So I'll be watering them once a week with worm tea, especially during the time when they, start to, they are starting to fruit. So if you guys decide to use coconut coir as your potting medium, just make sure to add enough organic matter in there, such as worm castings, organic compost. That way your plants will get enough nutrients. Since coconut coir usually does not contain any, nut any nutrients at all, although it's a great potting medium, it will provide good drainage, aeration, moisture retention, as well as nutrient retention. And also you can reuse it as it usually does not harbor any pests or diseases. So anyways, guys, stay tuned. For updates, I'll be watering this once a week at least with warm casting tea diluted in water. And I'm so excited to harvest some fresh sun go tomatoes. I love harvesting fresh tomatoes. So much better than store-bought. And don't forget to, to tie your tomato to your bamboo stick or whatever stick you're using. That way it does not get blown by the wind. So I've got a twine here. So I'm just going to just tie it right there to keep it secured and stay tuned guys we'll see you next time thanks for joining me today everyone happy gardening hi everyone so it's been about three and a half weeks since i planted these tomatoes in the 20 gallon pots growing in coconut coir and worm castings only so as you can see it's been a while and i didn't get a chance to do an earlier update they are standing about five and a half feet tall now lots of flowers and some green tomatoes so soon enough we'll get some ripe ones hopefully in about a couple weeks or so very excited about this experiment and looking forward to see how this turns out. 
with growing tomatoes and coconut coir and only worm castings and so far so good looking great just a quick tip on tomato plants especially in the warmer and humid months make sure to remove any leaves that are yellowing or has any brown spots this one looks like it's been infected with some kind of fungus that way you can prevent it from spreading. Look at that, some little brown spots and yellowing leaves. So make sure to remove the bottom leaves. So about six inches above the ground, six to eight inches is good. That way it does not touch the soil or the ground. So that way it doesn't harbor any fungus, fungus or other diseases or insect pests. And you can use a pruner. Sometimes they just kind of snap off easily like that. So just like that. So it's pretty easy. We'll go ahead and remove all these lower leaves. So I usually just bend it forward and back and it comes right off just like that that looks much better already so it'll allow proper airflow in there now there are some suckers growing along the stems right there so these are the suckers that'll produce more fruit or you can take them off as they get bigger about three to four inches you can root them in water and get new plants from them although your plants can get out of control especially for the indeterminate type of tomatoes this is one of them this is a sun gold tomato Pruning the suckers off can also allow more airflow, so better air circulation, so your plants are less susceptible to diseases and or insect pests. But if you'd like them to produce more and you don't care about it getting kind of out of control and growing all over the place, you can leave them on.